Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's session. We are so excited to have you here. Uh, for this new topic, we're going to be talking about 11 ways to generate real estate listing leads under $100. So that's exciting. Uh, our host with the most, Daryl Davis, will be with us shortly. Please use that Q&A panel there to tell us where you're from, uh, what you hope to get out of today. If you're brand new to our, our training series, we'd love to see that too. So give us a shout out so we can give you a proper welcome. If you are a coaching member, a, a power agent, give us a shout out too. We'd love to see that you're on the line. Uh, as you guys are coming into the room, if you see that little red button there that says handouts, you can click on that and download a workbook for today. So you can write down all the strategies that you want to take away from the session. Uh, so use that Q&A panel there to introduce yourself to us and to your fellow agents that are on the line. Tell us where you're from and what you hope to get out of today. We're excited to have you here. Uh, we've got a fully packed hour. I know Daryl uh, had a hard time narrowing it to 11. I think he's probably got more than that to share with us today on how to get listing leads for under $100. So we're excited to have you guys here and excited to, to share this new topic with you. Um, again, if you're new to our series, uh, let us know in the Q&A. We'd love to welcome you. Hey, Kathy from Philadelphia. Welcome. Thanks for kicking us off. Um, we'd also like to hear what it is about this topic that made you go, yes, this is this, this is the session I need to attend. Um, Daryl's going to use some of this content as, as you guys write what you're here for, what you're looking for. You help steer the conversation today. So don't be shy. Use that Q&A panel. Tell us where you're from and what you hope to get out of today. Hey, Lisa. Is it Lisa or Lisa from Myrtle Beach? Welcome. Thank you so much. Got a lot of new people coming in the room. As you guys come in, use that Q&A panel to tell us where you're from and what you hope to get out of today. Introduce yourself to us and your fellow agents that are on the line. We've got Sarah on the line as well. Sarah's going to handle any technical issues we might have. So don't be shy. Jump in the Q&A and let us know you're here. As I said, if you are brand new to our training series, we'd like to welcome you. So put that in, put your name in the, in the Q&A as well. Uh, as it says on the screen, if you don't have to bounce at the top of the hour, stick around. Uh, that's when we're going to be taking questions and getting giving answers and doing some, some coaching for you. So stick around uh, if you don't have to leave at the top of the hour. Hey, Marilyn from New York is looking for more listings. Awesome. Hey, Erwin, I haven't seen your face in a long time. Welcome from Chicago. We've got Elizabeth from Maryland. I'm a brand new agent. I'm licensed for three weeks. Oh, my goodness. We're going to say a little prayer for you, Elizabeth. My broker told me this would be a great webinar for me to participate in. I look forward to finding ways to build my business without breaking the bank. Awesome, Elizabeth. Well, we love new agents here. We have such a welcoming community for brand new agents. We wish you all the best. We're sending you love and light, and you are in good hands. So Daryl is, is passionate about helping agents of, of every experience level, but we, we have a soft spot for sure for brand new agents. So welcome to the industry and welcome to today's session. Hey, Bonnie from Richmond, Maine. I didn't know there was a Richmond, Maine. I'm from Virginia originally, so I know a Richmond, Virginia, so welcome. Hello, Madeline from Hollywood, Florida. Always to learn something new. That's an awesome goal, Madeline. We've got Mary uh, Freelix from Columbia. Welcome. Rose from Central Florida, trying to break into listings. Awesome. That's a great goal, Rose. Thank you for being here. We're excited. You're welcome, Elizabeth. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're excited to have you. You're in good hands here. Uh, hey, Donna from Houston. Welcome. Oh, we got Ida, power agent from Staten Island. Always interested in new ideas for getting leads. Welcome. Thanks for being here, Ida. Hey, Bernard, power agent uh, from Douglas Elliman in Long Island. Hi to you. Welcome. Hey, Siti from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Welcome. Awesome sauce. As Bernard just did, if you are a power agent, give us a shout out. We'd love to see that you guys are on the line with us. If you're brand new to, uh, to our industry, uh, as Elizabeth is, or to our training session, we'd love to see that as well and welcome you to our, our training. Hey, Kathy from Chicago, welcome. We've got Marcia, good morning to you as well. Yvette from New Jersey, welcome, welcome. For those of you just joining us, there's if you click on that little handout button, you see the little red button, you can download a workbook for today so you can write down which strategies you want to take away from our session. Um, we are going to be talking about the 11 ways to generate real estate listing leads under $100. So this is going to be a powerful, budget-friendly uh, session for us today. Hey, Reba from St. Augustine. I love St. Augustine. One of my favorite places. Hey, Joy Jackson from New York. Welcome. Uh, join in. Don't be shy. As you guys are coming in, use that Q&A panel to introduce yourself. Let us know 
uh, where you're from and what you hope to get out of today. If you're brand new to us, let us know that as well. Or if you're a power agent. Hey, Jack from Virginia. Welcome. I'm originally from Virginia. So I always love to see our Virginians oh. on the line. Oh, I hear Daryl. Good morning. Good morning. Those of you just joining us, use that Q&A panel there to let us know uh, that you're here. Tell us where you're from and what you hope to get out of today. You heard me walk in, huh? I did. Hello, Daryl Davis. Hello, hello, hello. How hey, are we Martha. doing? Is it so, Julie? Tell me, is it a is it a good, active, participatory group, or are, is it a shy, quiet, secret agent type of group? It started out very secret agent ish, but it, they seem to be waking up. Maybe the coffee is kicking in. I'm not sure, uh, but they're 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 they're. Coming to life. Hey, Jenny from Maryland. Marsha, you don't see the red button. You'll see, look for handouts there in that top panel. You'll see chat, Q&A, polls, handout. Click on handouts, and that's where you can download your workbook. we got Janet McCready from Illinois. Dana, power agent in Buffalo. Welcome, Dana. Oh, Bob and Joyce are in the house. Welcome. Got Lori, uh, power agent. Fantastic program. Thank you, Lori. We think so, too. <laughs> Did anybody tell us what, what they hope to learn? I mean, this is one of those kind of topics that it kind of says what it is by itself. Um, did anybody add to it, Julie? Or? Just that they want more listings. So if you yeah. guys have specifics, pop that into the Q&A. As you guys, we've got a lot of people that are just coming into the room now. Yeah. So, the, the, yeah, we all know that uh, inventory is low pretty much across the country, but... Um, there are ways to generate listings and don't have to spend a lot of money. That's what we're going to talk about today. And yes, Julie, you're right. I have more than 11. <laughs> so I hope that's okay with you guys. I hope you're not upset that I'm going to give you, I don't know, 15, 16, I think. <laughs> more than promised. Always a good thing. I love more it. than promise. Yeah. I'm, and I'm saving the best for last. Oh, so that means you guys got to stick around. And on that note, don't if you don't have to bounce at the top of the hour, please do stick around because that's we're going to take some coaching calls and or take some some questions and do a little coaching and, and answer everything all everything you need to know about the topic and more. Hey, Lori, we got Lori. Uh, welcome. We've got Chris Ayers from Virginia. Welcome, John from Hudson, Wisconsin. Karen from California. Scott says it's a blue button on his head. All right. Janet, looking for creative ways to connect with clients. Thank you in advance. Hey, by the way, I just want to say, I want to tell people this seminar is happening live. So we can actually see and we can actually talk to you. Sometimes you go to these things, you're wondering if it's actually live. This is live right now. You can test us if you want. <laughs> like, like, or, or go ahead, write, yeah, write something. We'll shout out your name. Although we're about to start in 60 seconds. So <laughs> right <laughs> you better do it. All right. Sears from Lakewood Ranch. We got Deborah from California. Lori from Boston. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Manuel, is this live? <laughs> yes, Manuel, it's live. <laughs> I love it. Try Look, to, we understood to, the assignment. I love it. Trying to trick us. <laughs> ta, ta, ya, ta, Tatiana. 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 That's such a Scottsdale name. You know, <laughs> I would expect an agent with the name. Tatiana Yadgarov from Arizona. Sounds very European is my point. All right. What else we got? We got Carmen. We got Irwin. Hi, Irwin. Irwin, did I see you with your beard? Did I see that on Facebook? <laughs> that it took you a year to grow the beard? You look like Santa Claus. I got to tell you. Looks it. good. And uh, Irene from the Bronx. How you doing? I'm Bob from North Kentucky. <laughs> All right, Nat Natasha, I'm just going to, we're going to just do accents. That's right. Paula from Flushing, Flushing Zolling. All right, good. All right, so we are live. This is real, and we got to start teaching. So let me, Julie, while you publish and say hello to other people, let's, let me get ready. Awesome. All right, you guys can continue to put where you're from and what you hope to get out of today. And if you're new to our series, I'll put that in there as well. We are going to start publishing those. And we're getting ready to get started. So buckle in, get ready to take notes, and we here away we go, as they say. All right, you gotta you gotta stretch that little thing oh, that you were just. God's already putting questions in. I love it. Good morning to you, Jose. 
Yeah, just stretch that out a little bit more, Julie, with what you were just doing. Um, contact um, the parent. Okay, awesome. So those of you guys just coming in the room, you can continue to use that Q&A panel. Tell us where you're from, what you hope to get out of today. Um, if you've got any specific challenges, you can pop those in there as well. We are going to be taking questions at the end. And we are getting ready to get started. So you ready? As I, I'm ready. He was born ready. All right. Welcome, everybody, to today's session. We are going to be talking about the 11 ways to generate real estate listing leads under $100 with our host, with the most, Daryl Davis. To get the most from today's session, we want you to take really good notes and we want you to use that Q&A panel there to ask any questions you might have at any time. Don't stress if we don't take them um, right away. We are going to be taking those at the end. So please don't bounce at the top of the hour if you don't have to, because that's when we're going to answer those questions. To, uh, if you want to reach us at any time after today's session, you can reach us on all social media channels at Daryl Speaks. Daryl is the author of three books, all published by McGraw-Hill Publishers. That first one you see there, How to Become a Power Agent in Real Estate, is actually one of the best-selling books to agents uh, on Amazon. Daryl was named this year by Riz Media Magazine as one of the top real estate newsmakers and influencers, his fourth year in a row, I might say. Mm -hmm. He is also the recipient of the coveted CSP designation, which is only given to less than 2% of speakers worldwide. On that note, Daryl, take it away. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to the session. Today, very excited to be doing this for you. As I, I said before, uh, if you didn't, if you just got on now, this is the 11 best ways, but I couldn't really narrow it down to 11. So I, I, I think I have like 15, 16, I might even be pushing 20. So I have a bunch I'm going to rattle off at the end that I'm real excited about to share with you. Um, before we get into the content, if you're a first time to this uh, weekly webinar, I want to address this common question, which is, you know, is this a sales pitch? Uh, it's not. This is part of a weekly training that we do for our coaching members. They're called power agents. And, um, and, and so some of you are on this call and you are, we, we, we call you guests. And we're really excited and glad that the guests are on the call. Um, you're going to get a tremendous amount of value, even though this is training for our power agents. But the reason why I want to start off that way is just to be clear with you that from time to time, I may be having like a sidebar conversation with the power agents pointing out something that I'm showing on the screen that's part of their membership and where to find it in the website. OK, so but the concepts I'm going to give you, you are going to walk away with a lot. And I promise you, if you do what I tell you to do, you are going to have a surge of listings coming up. Um, uh, just talking to the guests now for a second, if you decide that you would like to try the power program uh, for a month, we have a trial and you see everything that's on that screen. We email it to you right away so you don't have to look for it in the program because all of this is in the program. But we give you this bonus, uh, incredible thing. And it's usually valued at almost $2,000, but the trial is only five bucks today, which is really cool. So, all right, but we're going to talk about that at the end. Okay. So I'm going to get into the content. One other thing I do want to, if you want to scan that with your phone, if you take your phone and just put it up to, and just you'll uh, camera mode, right. And you'll see that QR code is going to bring you to uh, a Facebook page. And if you want to join the Facebook page, this is uh, for people like you that attend my training. And if you want to stay in communication and network with fellow Daryl Davis inner circle folks. OK. All right. Now, getting into this session today. So these weekly sessions that I do, they fall into one of two categories. Um, it's either a wide session, which means I cover a fire hose of things but I don't go deep on any one item. So when I go deep on an item, for example, you know, how to call FISBOs and expireds, uh, I'll go deep on that. Or one of our sessions was, uh, you know, how to work with buyers to get buyer agency agreements signed, how to present offers and get them accepted in a multiple offer situation. So those are deep specific topics. This particular topic today is why, because I'm covering 11 plus items. So each one of these items, I could probably teach an hour on them, okay? So with that said, let's get into the material and here's the first one. 
First item that is cost effective, doesn't cost a ton of money to do, is email marketing. Now, again, like I said earlier, just this one topic, it's like there's a lot of, you can take this one thing and break it up into several tasks, right? Like how do you get the email list? How do you get the CRM? All that stuff. So what I want you to do, hang on, because this is important that I say this. Because I'm going to give you more than 11 ideas, um, each one of them probably will generate other questions for you. Like, just like, let's look at the first one, the email marketing. Okay, so how do I do that? Do I get a separate software? Do I have to do it through my CRM? Where do I get the list? How often should I email them? Uh, what pieces should I send them? And that's just some of the questions. Don't get freaked out by that, okay? Don't start getting overwhelmed with just that one. I'll give you enough information about it for you to make a decision. Okay, you know what? That's one of the ones I want to do. Because let me tell you something right now. This is really important as well. Is that the real secret to success, and I want you to hear me on this. If you've never seen me speak before, I've been in this business either as an agent, a um, broker, or as a coach, trainer, for 39 years. That's how long I've been in this business. And um, I can tell you that the number one secret to being successful, and I'm not kidding, is being consistent. Being consistent. There's no right way to do in real estate. There is no one right way to do real estate. And some of my colleagues may try to say, this is the way to do it. You've got to do this and you got to do that. And then we wind up spending a ton of money on their system and it doesn't work. So what, it's like a diet. My power agents, you've heard me say this before. Which is the best? I've done every diet. Weight Watchers, Atkins, Keto, the pre-made meals that get delivered, healthy, all of it, I've done them all. And here's what I can tell you, the best diet of all of them. I can write a blog about diets. The best one is the one you're going to do, the one you're going to stick to and do consistently. The same is true in real estate. So with that said, we're going back to this. I hope that helps some of you. That was not part of what I was supposed to say today. What I just don't want you to get overwhelmed. I'm going to go through these and give you enough information for you to make a decision. You know what? That's the one I want to dive in. I want to learn a little bit more. Okay. Now, for example, let's continue with email marketing. This is all the different types of platforms one can choose to send emails out. This, as you can see, just trying to decide that could be a little confusing. But if you have a CRM, there's a good chance that your CRM has built into it a email program. So for example, Power Agents, the Power Builder that we have for you that's on the exact contact platform, which by the way, Power Agents, they have been come finishing some of the glitches that they've been dealing with. You all know that we've been keeping you informed about that. We should see it kind of finished and handled by, by the end of next week. All right, but anyway, so automated campaigns, a CRM, um, everyone that I know as far as CRM have an automated campaign where you can set and forget emails. Um, now, not all of them have what we have with um, Exact, which is the automated social posting where they'll actually post it on social media. I think some of them do, but ours it definitely has that. Having a newsletter, sending the newsletter out or and having your website tie into your CRM so you put it there. So, when it comes to sending out email campaigns consistently, um, you're either going to do it through a CRM or you're going to buy one of these other platforms. For example, Constant Contact is a very, very, very popular one. Okay. All right. Next one. Here's number two. Number two is business cards, car signs, and name tags. Business cards, car signs, and name tags. Signage. I guess I could have made those three separate ones, but again, I'm already over 11. So well, Julie uh, asked some of the power agents in the Facebook group just the other day, what place do you use? What company do you use for your business cards? And um, I, I actually never heard of Markful. I'm a little embarrassed to say it's true. And I was surprised to see that there were several power agents say, yeah, this is who, who I use. So I went to their site. I looked at it. I looked at the pricing. Their pricing is very competitive with all the other uh, ones that I have seen. 
it's specific to real estate. But what I love too is you see that middle one there, the thick, they're a little bit more expensive, but they have the the thick, the thick cards. Love that. Uh, the cards that we have in our company are the, they're double matted with a little color strip around the side. It adds a level of class to it. And I think it's worth the extra money. Now I have a bonus idea for you when it comes to business cards. There's a couple of things. Number one, do not use glossy. Why? Because one of the best things you can do, and, and you may want to do this on purpose, instead of having your cell number on there, you have your company number, your extension number, and your extension probably goes to your cell, but don't put your cell number on it. So if you're talking to a client and, and or you meet somebody in the street and you give them your card, say, you know what, let me do this. Give me back my card. Let me give you uh, my cell number. So that way you can bypass the voicemail. You just call me direct because I want to do what I can to help you. Come on now. Is that not beautiful? So handwriting your cell number elevates that relationship just from the card. That's number one. Number two is putting your QR codes, driving people to your site. Number three, most importantly, is, is these business cards, they're like, I think $30, $23, some, they're really exp they didn't expense for a hundred. My bonus idea for you is when you get a listing, you order a hundred business cards, $23. And, and, but on the back of the card, you're going to put a picture of your new listing that you got with a description of the listing, bedrooms and baths and yada, yada. You take that hundred, you give it to your seller and you say, Mr. Ms. Hanna, do me a favor. When you're at work, talking to friends, family, going anywhere, hand them this mini advertisement about your house for sale and tell them they can call me and, and that because some of the best buyers are people that are, are in your inner circle. You see, now what's happening is the homeowner thinks that they're promoting their house, giving out a hundred of these cards. <laughs> they're actually promoting you too uh, in their network. Okay. Here's the, here's something I found in, 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 uh, in, uh, in Facebook. This guy, Gene said, when it comes to name tags, never, I've seen some wear them to church. Do you ever see other business people wearing their name tags at social events and such? May as well staple a business card on your forehead. And I think his picture is actually, he's got something on his forehead. And Josh said, church is perfect. Volunteer to be an usher and then pin that sucker to your sports jacket. That's like hundreds of people seeing that. Reminds me of a post a few weeks ago where someone asked how they could market to their church without being obnoxious. I said, get the car wrap or door magnet and get to church early every Sunday and park, which I agree with that on the door magnet. So uh, it's interesting that Gene thought, you know what? It's not classy to do. So I guess he wants to be a secret agent. I, I do understand the concept. You know, I could see, is that a little over the top? Is that not my style? But I got to tell you something, ladies and gents, the best agents I know, we have one of our power agents. She's a walking advertisement for Remax. She has Remax earrings. She does not care. She has no shame. She goes out and she promotes, you know, she, she's, she's making like 600 grand a year. She's only been in real estate for seven years. So Tracy Palmer is doing something right. I think it's a good idea. Now, there's um, this is one agent as an example Cindy, what she does is she has three different name tags for different occasions, different matching of her outfit. One's a little bit more blingy. The other one's a little uh, uh, toned down. So, so I'm all for name tags. I'm all for name tags. Um, as a matter of fact, Power Agents, we gave you dialogue. I don't have it on the screenshot here. Power Agents in the classroom there is dialogue that I created uh, for when you're in the line at a bakery, cleaners. Like, listen to me, gang. So let me teach this, all right? This is important. How do you get a listing? How do you, how do you get listing leads for less than $100? Everywhere you go in your town, most likely you're standing next to somebody that ha is in real estate. You know, they're living in an apartment or they're living in a house. And everybody is interested in real estate, everybody. So anytime you go out in the world and you're online at a bakery, the cleaners, the supermarket, you should have your name tag on. And I, uh, time and time again, I've had power agents tell me that they've gotten business because of the name tag, man. It's, 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 it's less than $100 to advertise yourself everywhere you're going. Okay. All right. Let's continue on. The, the car, I'm sorry. Julie, I heard you come off mute. Is everything okay? 
Well, just on that note, we've got Laura, Lori and Andrew both said they put theirs on upside down because people say, oh, your, your tag is upside down and it makes it more noticeable. What a great tip. That, that's a great tip. I love that. Who said that? Andrew, upside down. Love it. Okay. Vistaprint. Uh, we love Vistaprint, our company. We use it for a lot of things. They have these car magnets. They're $53 each. So that's $106. Sorry, I went over by $6 to put it on the sides. I'm telling you, car magnets, absolutely. So, And what's great about the car magnet as opposed to the wrap, you want to take it off? But there's a lot of situations like, I'm serious, going to church, you go to your church, you parking lot, that's awesome. Number three, promotional flyers. Now, power agents have, so the guests, you probably have access or you can find promotional flyers. So let me just talk to uh, power agents for a second. Power agents, when you go to the classroom, we have, I, I, like this is newsletters, postcards, flyers. We have over 700 pieces in the classroom for you, whether it's dialogue, it's advertisement, promotional stuff, and every single one of them you can customize down to the period in a sentence that's not restrictive at all for the customization. So Power Agents, let me give an example of some of my favorites that I haven't shared in a while. So this is thinking of selling your home um, if in a prominent market watch, so this is a flyer that shoots down Zillow in a premier in a prominent market watch article, Spencer Raskoff, Zillow's former CEO said, we call it a Z estimate, not a Z appraisal, not a Z price. It's meant to be a starting point to determine a more accurate opinion of a home's value. You should hire a real estate agent. Mic drop. You've got the former CEO of Zillow. This guy created the, Z the the Zestimate, and he's saying, hey, it's just a starting point. We're not representing that this is the accurate price. He goes on to say the Zestimates is merely a successful marketing tool to catch people's attention, but you should not rely on it to determine the home value. Buyers, banks, title companies, et cetera, do not use Zestimates or even estimates. They use a specific data and formula appraisal to determine the home value. As a licensed real estate agent of the state, I have access to the data. I can happily share it with you in the neighborhood market report. Boom. This does a couple of things. Number one, you're offering a neighborhood market report, which is a CMA, but we call it a neighborhood market report at Power Headquarters. Number two, it's getting it's shooting down estimates by using their own words that you shouldn't listen to that. You should hire a real estate agent. Here's another one of my favorite ones. It's very simple. Everybody wants to know how to improve their FICO score. There's some people, especially buyers, first time buyers. How do I improve my FICO score? Put that out there. Gives This is some powerful, powerful stuff. Power agents, look up FICO, F-I-C-O in the classroom. You'll find it. The biggest mistake homeowners make, 77% is overpricing it based on active range research that they did. This is one of my big favorites is the top 100 reasons to hire a real estate agent. This is a great market. You do front and back, you got one piece. You want to do separate pieces? This is powerful, powerful stuff. And all of this, you brand it. You put your marketing stuff at the bottom. The best apps for buyers and sellers. If you're thinking about buying a real estate, here are some of the best apps right now that you should look into. So there's a whole bunch of ideas there as far as promotion flyers. And those were just a handful. Those were just six out of the 600, 700, sorry, 700 that we have for your power agents. All right. Number four, public open houses. Now, I am a fan of this as a marketing technique to generate listings. I'm going to show you why. Now, power agents that have been, uh, that have been with me, you have heard me talk about open houses so often, and I hope you're starting to do it. If you're not, you need to do it. One of the sessions we did, Power Agents, was how to turn one open house into a stream of listings. Now, this, this, this when, you, when you search for open house in the classroom, you'll find that, that training. And so I'm not going to go through the whole training right now. I told you today's session's going wide. But let me just show you what that one session for an hour and a half that we teach. The four P's of a successful open house is preparation. And what I mean by prep preparation is, you know, getting ready to start the second P, which is the promotion. The real value, see, open houses, listen to me, gang. Open houses has three major, we're talking about four P's, but it has three major moments of marketing. Number one is the 
promotion of the open house. So before the open house even happens, you promoting your name, face, what you do for a living, which is a definition of self-promotion. You're using this open house as a platform to promote you, not just the open house. So that's number one marketing. Number two is the day of the open house. And number three is the post open house. That's another marketing opportunity for you. So one open house can generate a stream of listings for you. I passionate about the open house. I know some of my colleagues teach open houses, but not like this. This is where the rubber meets the road. Presentation. So you've got preparation, promotion of the open house, presenting the open house, the day of the open house, and then post open house. And let me show you, this is just one of our power agents. Do you see this? Do you see the stream of people? Now I know this is, uh, let me tell you something about it, why this is so powerful. Look at that picture. Look at that picture. Forget about the number of buyers and the number of leads you're getting, but what's happening with this topic is about how to generate more listings. When you have a, 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 a people wrapped around the corner on an open house, how is that helping you get more listings? Come on, think with me. Well, you already know the answer, don't you? It's all of those houses in that neighborhood they're looking out their window saying, what the hell's going on at 1010 Hunter Hunter Lane? That line is promoting you to all those neighbors and how successful you are and how hot this market is. Let me show you something else. It's not just that. One of the, the secret ingredients to getting a big, there's a lot, but one of them is, is the signage. Uh, you see that flag? That flag is 15 feet high. None of this, 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 um, Come and scan the the the, uh, the fold up metal sign with the helium balloon that, that runs out of helium after an hour into the open house. You can't see that. You got to put up a big flag, put it out on the corners. You, what you want to do is make it like it's a, a carnival, man. You got to if you want to really up your game with an open house, get one of those those um, Julie um, drones. Drone. Get one of those drones with the flag. And ha can you imagine you having a flag? Like this open house with your name, power agent, going around the town, community. Come on now. This is powerful stuff. Now, by the way, the guests, let me talk to the guests for a second. One of the things I want to get you right away is the four piece checklist. We're going to email that to you right away when you, if you decide you want to do the uh, trial. Okay. That's one of the bonuses. Now, Here's the next thing. Oh, geez, I love this. I love this. I love this. Power agents, let me tell you something. We have power agents who are telling us they're getting listing appointments because of Sly Broadcast. Now, I need to teach this for a second because I, I can't assume, as even though I've been talking about this for a couple of months now, that some power agents may be new to the family and may not be aware of this, and they need to, and the guests too. What Sly Broadcast does is you record a message. You ever have that happen with your phone where you, you, you miss the call and there's a voicemail. You're like, I didn't even hear it ring. That happens sometimes with tech. This does it on purpose, meaning you record your call, your message, and then you upload a, a, a mobile list of phone numbers. And then it'll shoot it right to people's voicemail so the phones don't ring, which is great because people like those robo calls, you answer it and I, I, and you know, that's annoying. And plus it's illegal if you're on the do not call list and all that stuff, right? So if this goes right to the voicemail, you're staying compliant with law. That's number one. Number two is I want you to imagine because one of our power agents, watch this. They said, um, Daryl, I did what you said at the open house. I, I took the open house class. And then I did everything you said. I had a hundred people show up to my open house. I can't call a hundred people. It's too many. So how do, how should I follow up? I said, use slide broadcast. You record a message, something like this. Hi, this is Daryl Davis from power realty. I'm sorry. I missed you. See, it sounds like I just called that individual. I'm recording. I'm sorry that I missed you. Uh, but uh, the reason why I was calling you is you had come to my open house Saturday at 1010 Hana Hana Lane. And I just wanted to reach out to you because we got a lot of activity. As a matter of fact, we've got several offers that are coming in. So I'm just trying to get in touch with everybody. Let them know if you're interested in this house um, and you were thinking about putting an offer, you should do it before Tuesday because we're going to present all offers to the homeowner on Wednesday. <laughs> 
If, if this house didn't show interest to you, I have some other properties that you may not be aware of. Feel free to call me. Here's my cell. Have a wonderful day. So now I just called, I just recorded that message once. I upload my hundred list, bada bing, I send that out right away and they all get a message. Now out of a hundred people, if let's say 20 call you back, now you don't have to worry about the other 80 mama malukes because maybe they're not serious, but these 20 are, so it weeds it out. I love this so much. We created dialogue for every scenario, not just open houses, for calling your farm area, for calling past friends and clients, because now you can use this and it's so inexpensive. It's so inexpensive. Now, power agents, we negotiated for you 150 calls for free and there's no commitment. There's no monthly sign up. There's no, bah, bah, bah. You, so power agents, you can do 150 calls for free to try it out. You, but you can use this to call people to invite them to the open house. So now you could call the neighbors with this one recording. Uh, I can go. I love this thing. Okay. Online directories. All right. Let's keep going here. Uh, online directories. Let me give you some ideas on online directories. You got Google My Business. You've got Yelp. These are things you might not normally think of. But, but. Where do you order those flags? Yvette, those power agent flags, the open house flags, when you go into the classroom, Yvette, and you go to um, Power Merch, I think it is, Power Merchandise, you'll see the flags the flag there, okay? Go to shop and then merch. It's shop, okay, go to shop. So, so, so Yvette, as a power agent, you go to the shop and uh, go to merch. And by the way, your power agent pin too. You should wear your power agent pin. I should have put that as one of the list. Name badges, business card, power agent pin. Oh, I forgot about that one, son of a gun. LinkedIn, check your profile. Power agents, we had, um, we interviewed, uh, what was her name, Julie? Jennifer Darling. Jennifer Darling. She's a darling. She is a darling. <laughs> She's a darling. She did a whole training session, power agents, on how to write bios. It was beautiful, beautiful. Google her, not Google, but go into the classroom, look for Jennifer. Just type in Jennifer. You will find that session. Homes.com, uh, Facebook business, having a business page for Facebook, yellow pages, uh, better business bureau, local directories like your church bulletin. Now, let me tell you something about church bulletins. My mother May she rest in peace. Uh, I was doing improvements on my first house and my mother, she comes, <laughs> she gets the church bulletin. And uh, uh, so I needed like electrician, handyman, blah, blah. so she gets the, um, the bulletin and she, and she's on the back of the bulletin was an ad for electrician. She said, Daryl, I'll never forget. This. She said, here's an electrician. He's in the bulletin. You should call him because the fact that he's in the church bulletin, you know, he's honest. <laughs> That's what my mother thought. People think this way. So, you know, I'm telling you, uh, advertising in a church bulletin is not expensive at all. And uh, now, by the way, if you don't go to church enough, you should get some religion in your life. Now, here's another thing over here. This power agents, power agents. Do you see this power agent? You see this? There's some people got pictures and some don't have pictures. Power agents. We are seeing this is a directory of power agents. We're seeing referral business back and forth about five to seven deals a month between power agents. And we don't charge, this is part of your membership power agent. You're not paying extra for this thing. The, your membership is probably worth this alone. So, but the reason why I'm saying this power agent, you see like uh, Andrea and Andrea and Andrew, they don't have their pictures. It means they didn't fill out the, you need to fill out, make sure you fill it out because it's free advertisement for you. Okay. Um, and by the way, one other thing, power agents, we're planning this year and launching a website just for the civilians, buyers and sellers, where they can find power agents in their city. If they're thinking about listing their house, we're going to be promoting that. So get your act together and make sure your director is up to date. Number six, community involvement. Number six is get involved with your community. You, this doesn't cost a lot of money. So let me give you an example. This is one of our power agents. He posted this. Let, let me zoom in on, on what he wrote. He said, 
Uh, I went out for a purposeful walk around our neighborhood today. It happened to be a neighborhood garage sale day. Of course, I took a handful of business cards and cash just in case I found something. Using some of the script conversations from the Power Agent Library, I was able to have meaningful conversations with some of the neighbors. I handed out the cards, ended up with two leads, one with immediate real estate need. I have their names and numbers and, of course, their address. (laughs) Plus, bonus, got some tacos from the local taco stand. Thank you to the Power Agents. I have learned there's more options than just cold calling and ads. And here is the taco stand that he bought the tacos from. So I'm going to tell you something, getting out into the world gang and, and like this and into your community is a good thing. Here's some examples. You have local clubs such as Kiwanis and Chambers of Commerce, and there's all these other clubs that you can join that cost nothing. Um, and uh, power agents, you have these slides, so you, you so make sure you you go through these places of worship, right? Um, whatever your faith is, getting involved there. Parent clubs in your school system, get involved in the school system. Uh, wear your name tag whenever possible. Don't be b- embarrassed by that. Community events. Let me show you. Like, there's two types of community events. There's either the events that that uh, the community is putting on. You can participate. You can volunteer. You can have your own booth there. But there's ones that you can put together. You know, one of our power agents, uh, Joanne Mills, had a very successful um, run with a couple of drive-in movie nights. Now, she did this during the pandemic. Um, I think it's it's great all the time. What she did is she picked a parking lot at a, a, a town area, got permission from the town. She um, put up the screen and there's a way to have the movie play through the car radios. It's called an FM transmitter. She found the company. It, it, it's called Stargaze Movies. They managed the whole thing, right? So she paid one check to them, and they brought the screen, the PA system, the movie, uh, plus they had some other add-ons like popcorn, snow machine, yada, yada, yada. Now, what now Joanne did is when people pulled into the parking lot, she promoted the event. She had other vendors promote the event. Uh, she handed, when they came into the parking lot, she greeted every single card with a little goodie bag, you say, in her business card. And then she took the microphone before the movie started and did her own commercial. Thanks, everybody coming. Here's the status of real estate. I'm here to serve you, yada, yada. Powerful. And here's the great thing about fun. That's a fun thing to do. If you get involved with the school, do fundraising stuff. Backpack fundraising. Uh, Operation Backpack is another organization. Bring that to your school if you think that's, that's going to make some positive impact in children's lives. There's this company called the Goodies Factory. And what the Goodies Factory does is you buy a fundraising package where it has the forms, it has the gifts, like uh, it could be sweet and uh, salty taffy or it could be cookies. Anyway, it's like um, it's like fundraiser in a box. Like you don't have to think about it. You go to this company, they help you out and put it together for you. Uh, Seize Candy, very uh, awesome candy uh, based out of California. They have an own, their own program for fundraising with their box of candy. There's also uh, Annie Ann's Pretzel fundraiser package. So here's my point, gang, is that if you get involved with your school in the school, because schools are always short on funds for something, right? And you take the lead on this and you bring this to the PTA or you're involved in the PTA, it's another form of marketing and promotion of your name, face, what you do for a living, which I want, if you didn't write that down, you should write it down. That's the definition of self-promotion in real estate, to have people know your name, your face, and what you do for a living. So you got to put yourself out there. Again, don't be a secret agent. Now, I'm going to show you this because this is one of our favorite things that we put together. And 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 why am I showing you now when it's we're nowhere near Halloween? I'll tell you why. Because you should start planning this now or at least in the next couple of months. I learned about this uh, right before the pandemic and, and, and I, I absolutely love this idea. So, you know, trick or treat, right? So it's called trunk or treat. And, um, so we put together this whole plan on how to put together a trunk or treat. Now, for those of you who don't know, cause I didn't, I, I didn't know what this was. So I'm going to, I'm assuming there's some other guys or ladies that don't know. 
the trunk or treat is you, 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 instead of the kids going house to house to house, they, you to have the neighborhood get in the parking lot, they bring the cars, they decorate the trunk of the car. And then the kids in the parking lot go from car to car to car. And what's really cool about this, what I absolutely love, some of you know Tristan uh, from Lab Code Agents. Um, he's a power agent. He, this is one of his favorite things to do when he heard me teach this. He started doing it. And you decorate. What's cool about this is you've got the kids going from car to car. But also you as the real estate professional, this is your event that you put together. It, it's safe for the kids. It's safe for the community. And it's like it's like fishing, uh, shooting fish in a barrel. Like you've got your farm area in a parking lot. <laughs> so you go up to each car and, and then there's a prize. The best thing wins a prize. Anyway, we love this so much. We created a whole party planning guide on just this trunk or treat program with flyers and the whole nine yards. So I, I suggest power, ag power agents, if you go into the classroom and you type in trunk, just type trunk, you will find this guide and you should start putting your eye on it now. Let me check in with you guys. So uh, I, I'm not done. I'm halfway through. What time is it? And I'm more than halfway doing the time. So I'm going to have to go a little faster. Can you guys tell me what is your favorite so far? What do you like so far was your absolute favorite? And just put it in the, the Q&A there. Now, there's a delay, so we'll, we'll, uh, I know it'll happen pretty soon. So while you're doing that, let me go on to the next one. But tell me what do you like so far. Number seven, handwritten notes or greeting cards. Now, let me tell you about this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something in just a minute. One of the vendors that we uh, approve, because one of the things that we do is we, we find vendors and we cut deals for power agents. Uh, let me see. Some of these are coming in now. Bernard says a seller photo business card. Bernard, is that not the bomb? That's, a, that's like, yes. Victoria, community events, very great. Janet, the slide broadcast, my God, is the I, this is my number one favorite. I love the trunk you treat, Joyce Brown. Very good. Thinking of selling your home flyer, Gene. Very great. Lorenzo, wearing the name tag everywhere. God bless you, Lorenzo. Smart. Bethany, slide broadcast. Slide broadcast from Rama. I'm telling you, Ramel, the, the slide broadcast, I think is the, you're right. I totally agree with you. See, some of you hate calling prospect on the telephone. What I love about, you could just record the message, but I mean, you send that out to everybody and wait for them to call you. <laughs> it's, it's, it's also time management. God, you know, you can, you can up, listen to me. You can do that slide broadcast. You record one message to your farm area. One of the scripts we have for the farm that you, I, 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 the reason why I'm calling is I have these specific buyers, Mary and, and John, and I promised them I would call every homeowner in the neighborhood until I found them a home. So the reason why I'm calling you, if you know of anybody who's thinking about selling, could you please call me? Here's my number. Now, let's say you record that on Slide Broadcast. You upload 500 people in your farm. Bada bing, you send that out. Come on now. <laughs> I just, oh, it's the bomb. Okay. So anyway, uh, you, you guys got the point. Let me continue. Julie, can you post the rest of what everybody's saying? Because I, I got, I'm, I'm loving this, sure thing. everybody, but I got to keep teaching now. So AM Cards is one of our vendors that we negotiated for power agents. And um, one of the things, uh, AM Cards, because they cost, there's a monthly fee that they charge, and they're like $4 a card. Power agents, there's no monthly. You'll pay per card. It's like $2.25, something like that. What, what's really awesome about AM cards is, do you see this here on the screen? Do you see over to the right? Do you see how it looks handwritten? It's a greeting card. So it folds out. They have a whole mess of them. So if you just start sending out handwritten cards to uh, special people, because it's not like mass mailing, right? Mass mailing, you know, you can do that on the cheap postcards. You can do it for 70 cents out the door. You've got uh, letters, maybe a dollar twenty-five. This is uh, double that because it's a greeting card. So I wouldn't do massive amounts. I'll tell you one thing you could do is Fizbos. They have a whole, AM Cards has a whole drip campaign on uh, Fizbos to send out. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to show you this video uh, until later I'll sh because you got to watch this video. It's four minutes long. This is one of our power agents, Jennifer. I don't know if Jennifer is on the call. Jennifer, you're on the call. Say hello. Jennifer, Just this has just happened f four days ago. She recorded this. And 
she said, oh my God, I'm so excited. Here's what she did. There was a vacant house in her neighborhood. She sent them one co- a letter. It came back because it was a vacant house. So the address she had was the wrong address. So she sent it out to the correct address the second time. So she really was. Anyway, from the one letter, Jennifer, this power agent that she got from the classroom, she got 22 listings because that homeowner is an investor. They have 22 properties in the neighborhood. And by the way, this I'm not blowing smoke because Jennifer, I she just uh, uh, sent me because I'm looking at, I said to them, how much would they say if I bought all 22? Because we also buy real estate. So she sent me already one of the listings she got on MLS. So it's not a promise to get the listing. She's actually now putting them on MLS. Very excited for Jennifer. From one card, one letter, client testimonials, client testimonials. Now, let me show you how to get client testimonials. This is a testimonial from uh, one of our power agents, Walter. I'm not going to play the, the testimonial. What he does is he talks about how great the power program is, okay? I'm going to skip that. But let me show you um, how we got the testimony, how we manage our testimonials, our video testimonials. It's called, um, it's, what is it called? I'm sorry, I forgot it right. Video, video ask. ask. Yeah, video ask. Thank you. So this is what it looks like. So this is the portal. When you log into your account on video ask, it has all the testimony, all the responses you got on the left, and, and then you can click on each one. But here's how it works. You basically, you record a message uh, saying, hey, this, this is Daryl. Obviously, you know, but <laughs> the reason I'm sending you this is because I really would like to capture... Um, on video, your thoughts or feelings about my service. And if you can take the time, yada, yada. And then what you do is you email it to them. But what happens is when they're watching your video, they can simply press on their phone uh, on the video and then it'll launch their camera. So my point is it's all self-contained. Like they don't have to log in. It's not cumbersome. It makes it easier for people to actually send you video testimonials. Um, how can you use video testimonials? You can use it to show on a listing appointment when somebody said something specific. I was a FISBO and then I decided to hire Daryl and he sold our house for more than what we could have gotten. So happy. You can send it as a follow up to one of your listing appointments. You can send it prior to meeting new buyers. If you're going to meet a buyer to sit down and have a conversation about buyer agency, if you want to prep that buyer to trust you, like you, and fall in love with you before you ask them to commit six months and guarantee your commission, send them a, a, a few of these testimonials from other buyers. You can send it to a referred seller, meaning that somebody referred a, a, a listing appointment to you. So I'm looking for an amenia. I'm going to send you something, a, a couple of testimonials from some of my clients. You can send it out to FISBOs and expireds if they're ghosting you. So there's a lot of validation that you can use with uh, getting these testimonials. And again, all under a hundred bucks. Home buyer and seller guides. Now, some of you may have heard about having uh, uh, seller guides or buyer guides. I got to tell you something. Uh, there is no buyer guide or seller guide in our industry that matches the quality of what ours has. Um, with the buyer guide was written like a book. So if you wanted to give to a buyer, here's how you buy a house in today's market. Here's, it's literally a book. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Again, power agents, you get to customize this. You put your name and address, but you take credit like you, you, the power agents, you're supposed to steal everything that we have for you because that's being a power agent. You use it and make believe it's yours. Make sure, take all my stuff off, put your name, your phone number. It's your guy. The seller's guy. It's beautiful. We have power agents. They print them out. Instead of printing it in, in the office, they print it out at uh, FedEx, get a nice high quality print, staple, bind it, bah, 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 and use it as an icebreaker on a listing appointment. Leave it as a leave behind with a physical appointment if you don't get it the first time. You can actually, with the seller's guide, you can actually create a landing page on, on the internet. And you can have people opt in to get it. You could do a social media post telling people to go to this landing page to get this guide on how you can do a postcard mailing to the farm area. There are so many different uses for just the seller guide for the buyer guide. Anyway, powerful stuff. And it costs you less than a hundred bucks. Collaborate with local businesses. Now, 
What you do is you think about all the business. One of our power agents, Charles Mayon, really great at this, where he interviewed uh, success, uh, other businesses in the community, um, doing deals with communities. For example, let's say you have a, a, a bakery and you say to the bakery, listen, I would like to do some uh, co co-branding with you if you're interested. What I'd like to do is have you, I would like to promote your bakery to all of my clients. And how I would do that is when it's their birthday, I'll send them a free birthday cake uh, with promoting your, your place. And you'd be the exclusive bakery that I would do this with. Now, you don't have to pay me for the printing, for the mailing, for the postage, any of that. I'll eat it because what you're donating is the free cake. Now, you know, you get a customer in here. They're going to get a cake. They're going to get some rolls. They're going to they're going to get some milk to go with the cake. And the, you have it. There. So this is a great win. win are you interested? And if you're not, that's OK, because the bakery down the street, I think they want to do it. But I came to you first. That baker will say, no, 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 no don't, don't go to the other baker. I'll do it. I, we created also for power agents another gift certificate to use with any vendor. It could be a, um, it could be the cleaners. It could be the liquor store. It could be whatever. So working out some kind of cross promotion with local vendors is the idea. Now I told you about interviewing. You can interview the, the, the businesses in the community. And, and, and what you would do is you, you put it on social media. You put it into the Facebook closed group. What do you like best about the community? Why did you start this business? Why did you pick this particular town to do your business? How are you making out during these challenging times? There's always challenging times. So that's a great question. If it's ever not a challenging time, you can take question number four out. But let me know when that happens. <laughs> what, what new features, items, specials have you added recently? And then to really kick it off is if you go behind in the kitchen or whatever, the, like behind the scenes and you interview a couple of the, like real fast, some of the employees. Do you like working for John? Is he great? Bah, bah, bah. So you do a tour of local fun. This is fun. This is fun stuff. Fun, 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 fun stuff. Facebook groups, getting involved with Facebook groups. Now, I'm going to share something with you. There is a power agent. Her name's Tracy Palmero. Tracy has been in real estate seven years. She makes over $500,000 income. I think it's six, but I'm going low because I don't want to blow smoke. 507 years. Now, that's pretty good. Her first year real estate, first full year, she made a hundred. She was in real estate for a few months. She became a power agent. She eats, sleep, and drinks a power agent. Sometimes she sits in for me in our coaching calls. Her first full year, she made a hundred grand. First year, that was her income. And I'm going to tell you how she did it. She took seven areas that she wanted to own markets, seven farm areas. She created seven Facebook groups. She started promoting those seven Facebook groups. Then she used the Facebook groups to start promoting things like, you know, she calls purge parties, which is basically garage sales. She goes to purge. Anyway, power agents, what we did, because there's some new power agents that don't even know about Tracy. We interviewed her. When did we do that? Last year, July. Search, search power agents in the classroom, the name Tracy with an eye and you'll find this training. She did an hour and a half sharing her ideas behind the scenes, how she built from zero to six figures from just Facebook groups, okay? Next one is QR codes. QR codes, that's easy, that's no problem. Put them on wherever you can, put them on your business card, put it on your uh, website, put it on uh, uh, mailings that you do. Now, how do you do a QR code? Well. This is the company we use. You see that? It's called QR-Code-Generator. That's the one that Power Headquarters uses. One of our, I don't know if Jim is on the call here, Jim uh, Hayden, he uses this company. And Oh, no, no, not this one. Sorry. I'll tell you. I'll show you. Do I have his? Do I even have his? Wait a second. Yes, yeah, that's the one he uses. But let me go back. Vistaprint. Vistaprint has a QR code generator. Now, what's cool about these companies, <coughs> you generate the QR code and then you can order uh, stickers, flyers with the QR code. So, you know, that's cool. So Vistaprint, we love Vistaprint, but we use the other one. Flow code is the one that our power agent uses, the one power agent. I, honestly, uh, we tried flow code. I personally didn't like it. 
only because it's round. Their logo is round, and everybody see the Vistaprint is round too. But this QR code, it's square. And I think people are just used to seeing QR codes square. I, 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 there is something about the, the round I didn't like. So there you go. That's my opinion. Now, one other thing I want to tell you. And then I've got bonus things. So I gave you 12 now. That was uh, Baker's 11. Uh, Baker's 11 made it 12. Now I'm going to give you eight more. But what I want to tell you, everybody, here's what I want you to do. Listen to me. I'm not done teaching. What I want you to do is make a list of your some of your favorite items that you're going to implement and, and then start working it, okay? Power agents, you have the support of us to help you start implementing these things. One of the things that I recommend that you do is, is make a list and put it down on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, like every day you're, you're doing one of these activities. We've got to shake the trees gang. Here's the bonus stuff, <laughs> but wait, <laughs> there's more. So I'm going to give you some bonus extra material, which I think is, these are my favorite when it costs zero under a hundred dollars is um, I want you to think with me for a second. See, I love the telephone. If you prospected one hour a day for five days a week, that's five hours. If you hit the phones for one hour a day for five days a week. Now, if you do five hours a day and, uh, 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 sorry, you do one, sorry, one hour a day for five days and you do that every week, that comes out to 20 hours a month, right? Okay. Now, if let's say you get one appointment out of 20 hours of phone calls, one listing appointment, that's, that's very doable. If you had 20 hours of conversations in a month, you should be able to get one appointment per hour times 20 hours. That's 20, sorry, that's 20 listing appointments in a month. One listing appointment per hour. It, it, you actually should do more, but we're going low on this. If you had 20 appointments in a month, there's a good chance you should get four listings out of 20 appointments. Let's say four listings, only two of them sold, which they probably all would sell, but let's just say half of them sold. If your commission is 10,000, multiply that by two listings sold, that's $20,000 commissions a month, which comes out to $240,000 a year. Now, some of you might be like, Daryl, I don't think I would get one appointment per hour. I don't think I would get 20 listing appointments in a month. Um, I don't think I would list four out of those 20. All right, let's do this. Let's cut those numbers in half. <laughs> That's $120,000. And let's take that and cut that in half. That's 60 grand. I'd say everybody on this call would do at least 60 grand up to 240. If you just committed one hour, one hour a day for five days a week in hitting the telephones. And here's the other bonus material I wanted to give you. Past clients, friends, orphans. Orphans are people that bought or sold through your company. They no longer, that agent no longer works for the company. Nobody's working that past client. So they're a past client. Nobody's working. They're an orphan. You ask your broker for those folks. Give me a list of all the people that has done business with us, but the agent doesn't work here anymore. Let me call them. Your farm area, FISBOs, expireds, old FISBOs, old expireds. There is a plethora of leads that you can call. This over here, Mary Buttendeck. Mary, are you on the phone? Are you on the webinar? If you are, can you write something in the in the in the Q and A? Mary Buttendeck. She just posted this six about seventeen hours ago. I saw this. I just did this for this webinar. She said, I got the listing. Thank you, Darren Power Agents and RedX. What she did, that's an expired listing she's holding. That's an expired listing. She used the RedX system and got the listing. Gang, there's business out there. You just got to shake the trees. Power Agents, when you go to the prospecting section of the classroom, there is over 40 dialogues that you can use, whether it's FISBOs, expireds, houses for rent, pre-foreclosures, I have a buyer, All of, any dialogue you need for the telephones there. And, and, and by the way, the guest, we're going to email you the top 12 favorites, which includes the FISBOs, expires, all those lists there. Okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up to questions because I covered a lot. And I want to now go uh, help you guys in, in helping you get the most out of the program.
Oh yeah, only if they sign sign up. Sorry, this. Let me go back. My my office town. Yeah, you were gonna send you the those twelve favorite dialogues as part of the trial if you want to try the program for five bucks. So let me talk to the guest for a second. And power agents, if you want to say something in the Q&A, I'm going to talk to the guests just for a second to give them the special deal. And then we're going to open up to questions and do coaching. But power agents, if you want to pay it forward and tell the guests, what do you think? Should they try the program? What I want to tell you, gang, is that the number of uh, members of NER has grown year after year after year, and it really surged during the pandemic. The problem is, as we see more agents come into the business, we're seeing less business, period. In other words, if we stayed the same, and, and what you're looking at right now is the NER stats net, meaning after people left, real, uh, left NAR and after people join NAR, at the end of 2020, there was a net gain of 55,000. 2021, a net gain of 100. So the membership keeps growing. The problem is in the past year, business has been shrinking. So what does that mean? You know that musical chairs game that somebody winds up getting left without a chair to sit in? That's what's going to be happening the balance of this year. Inman News predicts a quarter of a million agents are going to leave real estate by the end of the year. And the difference between the ones that will stay and the ones that leave is <laughs> it's probably five dollars. It is the agents who are not do I'm showing you power agents who are getting listings because they're doing the stuff that we're teaching. So here's and, and again, if you are a guest, um, if you want to try the program, it's only five dollars. Let me show you one of the testimonials. Rob uh, from an, e an EXP agent said five dollars is worth this web the just for this webinar. Uh, I have 30 years as a realtor and any one idea from Daryl is worth uh, 10 grand. Thanks. He, what Rob said, cause he was actually on the call. He said, Daryl, I, when I, when I first was exposed to you after the seminar, I, th I thought, you know what? I can't lose because what I just gave was worth $5. Here's $5 just for the webinar. Now look, the power program is free for a month. So that's one way to look at it. If this was valuable for you, Look at it that way. Okay, so here's how the program works. Weekly coaching calls. They're live. You can role play with me. Talk to me. It's a group coaching call. It's not like the webinar where you sit and listen. We can actually have a conversation. We record that. Sometimes I'll role play uh, FISBOs, negotiating an offer, a listing appointment, handling an objection, and I give ideas. And then you can listen to the recording later. Uh, Erica, one of our power agents said the mo Monday coaching calls are priceless. Those coaching calls go two, three hours long because we have hundreds of power agents call in at that time. And we basically stay available until every power agent's question is answered. So we've got those coaching calls. We've got talent Tuesday, brainstorm Thursday, where we'll interview top power agents. They share their ideas. Then we have a brainstorming session where power agents call in. It's like show and tell and the power agents say, oh, this is what I'm doing. Then we take what they say and we put it into a guide and the guide has hyperlinks that you will not find a training program in our industry that gives you as much as the power agent program does. I, there's no, no, there's no way that anybody, and I've seen them all, there is over 70 on demand training sessions. Some are wide, some are deep. How to do the listing point, negotiate the offer, get the buyer's commitment, handling objections, with metaphors and analogies. So when you go into the, the webinars on demand, you will see all of that training and then you get a copy of the slides. Like the power agents, they already have today's slides. They, while I was teaching, they could have it in front of them. They could be making notes. Those of you that are guests, if you decide you want to do this for five hours, we're going to email you the slides today. Um, Michelle said the weekly coaching calls and training is more than worth the monthly cost. Okay. Um, 600 on the, it's actually 700. I got to change that slide because we keep adding more and more content to the program, scripts, checklists, systems. It's crazy how much we have for you. Um, Heidi said she loves the newsletters because we have 12 newsletters. So if you want to start sending out newsletters, we write the newsletters for you. You can customize the newsletters. You don't like something we wrote, you put something else in. You put your name, face, and what you do for a living on the newsletters. It's customizable. You go to the classroom, that's where the magic is. When you go into the classroom, we've organized real estate into categories, the listing appointment, work with buyers, self-promotion, farming. So let's say, for example, you know what? I want some stuff for farming. What does Daryl have? 
for the farming stuff. I want to do a mailing, a postcard, a flyer. Bada bing, it's right there for you. Once again, everything is customizable. And what we did is we added this favorite little thing. Like because we got so much, you click some, you say, Oh, I like that as my favorite. It goes into your own personal favorite folder so you can use it over and over again. We got this similar search thing uh, like um, uh, Google. If you type in the word FISBO, everything FISBO related, whether it was a video training, whether it's a fly or whatever, will show up. So it searches the entire site for you, makes it easy. Let me ask you a question. If being a power agent generated one sale a month for you and one sale is worth, I don't know, 10,000, 5,000, let's say it's $3,000. If you generated $3,000 a month, what would the program that you wouldn't have had without the program, what would it be worth? Well, uh, if you look at other programs, I, the cheapest, I was looking for the cheapest, like, cause there's some, you'll pay $1,500 for one-on-one -on -one coaching with somebody who never listed a sold real estate. There, there's those options. I look for the least expensive program. And I, the least I found was 397 and the, that program did not have what we have. So it's definitely worth that, but we're not, we don't charge that. If we said it was 297 and you made it 3000, whoa, that's good. Well, we don't charge that either. We wanted to make it so affordable that that money was not an issue for people. And we don't even charge $197. It's only $47 a month and no contract. You can cancel any time. So here's the deal. If you are a guest, you can cancel any time. You're not locked in. You get to try it for a month for five bucks. You're going to get all access, complete access to the program. You're getting all of those bonuses emailed to you right away. So the moment that you sign up, everything on the screen, the listing appointment, the starter kit, the open house, the hundred ideas on how to get listings today, plus a copy of the webinar, a copy of the slides. It's quite phenomenal. So we're going to go to questions, but Julie, before we go to the questions, so you all should start typing your questions in the Q and a, and um, we're going to ask, so when you write your question, Julie's going to ask it and I'm going to uh, answer it. But I, I do want to address this one question that we always get, which is why is this such a great deal? Um, you know, S Simone said, stop paying for expensive, unvetted leads, pay the $5 and change the trajectory of your business. You know, if you think about because that's really all you need to decide now. If you're a guest, you have to decide on the whole program or 47 a month or what. Blah, blah, blah. It's only that's five dollars. That's all you have to decide. Now, what's interesting is when you get off this webinar, you will probably waste five dollars on so many other things and you won't give it much consideration. Like you'll just naturally spend the five dollars on a fast food or or if you, you want to have a little glass of wine tonight. The difference between all of those things is once you consume it, it's gone, it's over, it's finit. Whereas this, you're investing in your career. And I will say one other thing. This is for the guests. Because I've been in your shoes where I, you know, you, especially when something seems this good, it's like, uh, it's too good to be true type of thing. If you were to search Daryl Davis seminars, you will see current testimonials from people. Uh, and I encourage you to do that. You will not find any bad reviews on me or my company because we always give more than what anybody ever pays for. So just to recap, here's what you are going to get today. Bonuses of $1,800. And for $5, you are going to get a copy of today's slides and a recording of today. You are going to get four, not one, not two, not three, but four coaching sessions live with me. You're going to get four other training webinars with handouts in advance. This is all in just the 30 days for five bucks, a national directory to get re free referrals from other power agents, access to 700 customized marketing tools, checklists, flyers, newsletters, postcards, and access to 11 Power Squad team members. That's how many people are, are in my team and in my company. There's Julie and we've got Sarah and the whole nine yards. So, oh, one other thing, complete access to the program. So I think, Sarah, you are going to be asking these questions from the from the guests and the power agents. And um, power agents, uh, you want to make any comments to pay it forward? We love you to do that. So what do we have, uh, Sarah? All right. Sure. Our first question is from Bud. Um, when contacting an owner of an apparent vac vacant house, sometimes the owner seems apprehensive 
um, you notice the house is vacant. Any suggestions on that contact? Um, yeah, so when contacting the owner of a parent vacant house, sometimes the owner seems apprehensive, but I'm not too sure um, what you mean by like, so if it's vacant, you're approaching the owner. I think I need a little bit more context, but I mean, I know you can ask me on Monday. I hate to put it off till Monday. Um, yeah, so, I think that um, the owner is like apprehensive that the that he noticed that the house is vacant. So how to approach that conversation? Yeah, I, I well, I think if he's a little apprehensive, say, listen, it's my job, you know. Uh, <laughs> okay, if that's it, good, good sir. Um, you know, Mr. Hanahana, as a realtor, um, I'm not a normal person, <laughs> meaning when I see houses, uh, I have spider senses. And uh, that's part of my job is to know everything and anything. There's things that I can notice that people may not notice. Um, just having the lawn over overgrown just a little bit is a telltale sign for me. So um, so I wouldn't get too concerned about it. Um, but that's that's uh, it's my job to pay attention to what's happening in the neighborhood. So I hope that helps you, bud. Go ahead, Sarah. Love it. From Pam, where do you get a compiled list of numbers for Sly Broadcasts? Okay, so great question, Pam. So there's a few different ways to get a list of phone numbers for your community. Um, now we have power agents have access to cold directory, which is a company. They wrote the book literally on uh, phone numbers, addresses, income of family members. Do they have a pool, et cetera, buying habits, cold directory. They're the number one. Um, Power agents get a $200 deal that we negotiated for them. There's uh, Red X. Red X is another company. And, and my personal preference is Red X. It's the least expensive where you can purchase a list for 10 cents a name. And that will have the owner's name, the address, their cell phone numbers, their landline numbers if they have it. So it's not as in depth as cold directory, but it, it's 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 enough for what you need, which is those mobile numbers. Next question. Sure, Daniel asks, um, can you go over how to upload the list? Can you use Cole and just upload the numbers to use in Slide Broadcast? Yeah, Dan, I'm not going to actually do a show in Slide Broadcast how to do that because I'm not prepared, but it's really simple, Dan. When you get your list from Cole or from Red X, you're going to be getting it uh, downloaded as an Excel file. And when you go into Sly Broadcast and you go through step one and they bring you step by step, this is step number whatever is upload your list. And then you just upload your file, the Excel file. So that's really simple. So simple. And we actually did a training with Sly Broadcast as well, where she went over that, right? Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good point, Sarah. So if I do Sly, so I'm on the live uh, power program website right now. And when I typed in the word sly, first of all, you'll see power agents, all the dialogue. And um, you'll also see uh, the training that we did. So in there is, is one of the videos, the training that we did. Okay. Next question. Love it. Is there a difference between prospecting and farming? Jandra asked. Uh, wow, that's a great question, Chandra. <laughs> so um, farming is a form of prospecting and prospecting is the overall like concept. Farming is a very specific approach. So for example, farming would be even door knocking. Door knocking your farm is even more specific. But the concept of farming is is you take a list of people and you work them on a month to month basis, monthly, you plant seeds, you fertilize it, you water it. That's why it's called farming. So you may mail people once a month. You may do a follow-up call to your farm area, but it's really a long term play. Okay. Now another, so that's prospecting, but it's farming. There's prospecting call of Fisbos. There's prospecting calling past clients. There's prospecting of your community. As a matter of fact, everything that I taught you today is about prospecting. And I gave you uh, 16 specific forms of prospecting. Okay, good question. Go ahead, Sarah. Okay, Andrew asked, how easy is it to customize things? I'm not a techie. Okay, let me show you. So when you have, um, I'm going to go to the farming section. And um, 
let's say eight great reasons to downsize your home. So I clicked on that and the file is now downloading. You can see it in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, it's downloading to my computer. Everything that we created is in one of two platforms. It's either PowerPoint or it's uh, Microsoft Word. And the reason why we chose that is because every Windows computer understands Microsoft Office. If you're a Mac user, Mac understands Microsoft Office. So um, anyway, so I'm in this flyer, the eight reasons to downsize your home. Now, let's say you don't like reason number one. I want you to see all you do is hit delete. I just deleted it. And now there's one less. Uh, Control Z. This over here, and I see the spacing's a little messed up over here. So I'm going to move that up. And then here's where I can put my photo here and my company logo, okay? Now, let me show you something else. I could take these eight reasons and I got to copy that first and I can go to Facebook. Let me go to Facebook. Let me show, watch, watch what I'm going to do. Because what this will do is every one of our pieces, you can actually have multiple purposes. So that's a flyer, the eight reasons to... Um, let me just put this here, the eight re great reasons to downsize your home. Now, what I'm going to do is take this, make believe I'm on my personal page. I'm not in the, where am I? Give me a second. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, I'm going to copy this and select all copy and minimize that. Go to my Facebook page. Where was I? And here I am. Anyway, so I'm not going to continue doing this because I think you've got the concept. What I can do is this flyer, I can actually turn it into a social media post on the eight reasons to downsize. I can take this flyer, I can use it as a mailing. I can use this as an objection handling. I can use this on my blog. So there's one flyer that I just rattled off four uses and we have over 700 pieces in the program. This is why we added that favorite section where you tag things as a favorite. These are some of my personal favorites because there is so much content in there. Now you have the ability to pull out what you like as your favorite. Next question, Sarah. Love it. And we also have a lot of our um, flyers translated into Spanish as well. Thank you for that. Let me just point, uh, let me show everybody that as well. So wherever there's something you could give to a civilian, like the eight reasons to downsize your home. Oh, Sarah, look oh, at that. The eight yeah. reasons is not translated. So mm -hmm. this is actually a new piece. That's why it hasn't been translated yet. But if I go down to remember the gift certificate for the bakery, there's an English version. There's a Spanish version. So, um, yeah. All right. Next question. Okay, Susan asks, do you or other power agents have experience dealing with HomeBot as a home valuation tool for potential sellers? How has it worked for you? And do you find the values to be accurate? Yeah, so Susan, I am familiar with HomeBot. I don't know of a lot of agents that are using it. Susan, if I'm, you're a power agent, right? So what I would do, Susan, is this would not be the platform to survey the power agents. Go to the Facebook closed group and post it there and ask the power agents. Also, Susan, if you want to ask me that on the Monday coaching call, because you'll get, you'll get a lot of responses there. I don't personally know if it's uh, valuable or worth it, um, but we can survey the power agents. Now, I will tell you one thing, though. I'm going to guess, Susan, what would probably happen is that you'll have some people say, yeah, it's accurate, it's great, and some people say it's a waste of money. A lot of these tech companies, uh, when you buy for leads and stuff like that, is it's a hit or miss. Uh, some In some areas, it works great, and people swear by it, and then there's some that say, I feel like I got robbed. So here's always my thought with these kind of tech things, is uh, only risk what you're willing to lose because you really don't know for you based on the area that you're working, if this tool is going to work or not. So it's going to be a total gamble and experiment. So I think you should try everything, but only use money that you don't need. If you need it, don't think this is a quick fix solution. That's a bad way to be. That's something else I want to point out to you all gang. 
in real estate, there's so many, there's so many tools that you can buy and there's websites and yada, yada. But if you don't know what to say, when to say, and how to say it when you're belly to belly with a buyer or seller, all of the bells and whistles will just really put you into bankruptcy. You, you just waste money. You need the listing and selling skills. And that's what we are. Like our company, we have so much marketing stuff, but that's not what we are. What we are is training you on how to communicate to FISBOs and expireds, do the listing appointment, tell the buyer why they should hire you as their buyer's agent. We are the listing and selling technique training company. And quite frankly, there's none of my colleagues have been in real estate as long as I have been listing and selling real estate and coaching others to do it. So um, I, I don't want to mention some of the names, but some of uh, the, the top five speakers in our industry, uh, one of the top that never even listed or sold real estate. So anyway, let's go to the next question, Julie. Uh, Sarah, sorry. Uh, okay. I'm so Jose, used to Julie, right? Yeah, okay. I know. Uh, okay. Jose asks, what about the state of emergency that's in effect? I spoke to NYSAR Legal and was informed not to call or text FISBOs and expired. Jose, if if you are um, if you are not a power agent, then um, then then uh, how do I say this? Um, it's it's advice like that that makes it um, an opportunity for power agents because power agents know that in a state of emergency in the state of New York, which by the way. I'm a New Yorker. You can call FISBOs and expireds. You're getting bad advice. and um, But if you want to not call, you'll just be one less agent calling the FISBOs and expireds, which makes it an opportunity for other agents who are calling. So um, I'm, 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 uh, nice are, is 100% wrong. 100% wrong. So next question. Okay, Danielle asks, is this program something that would be good if you're already an agent with a big agency like KW or Remax? Listen, D Danielle, I, 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 I'm going to tell you yes, but you know, of course I'm biased, right? So you have to decide for you. D D Danielle, I'm sorry, Danielle, listen to me. It's $5. Don't get in the way for $5. I mean, that would just, that would be silly. That would be silly for you. Danielle, if I gave you any value in this hour, was it worth $5? And if the answer is yes, which I hope it is, then there's your answer. Because the power program is just more of this. <laughs> A lot more of this. And that's why we do the five hours, because I can tell you as much as I can tell you, uh, uh, KW is great. Gary Keller, he, he acknowledged me in his first book. Some of the stuff that he's used, this is what I teach. Uh, Remax, incredible. Cup. They'll tell you, I've keynoted for them. They, they'll tell you this is great. But, you know, you need to decide for you. That's why you should do the five hours. It's not a big risk. It's not a risk at all. It's not a risk at all. Five hours. It's really so. Just just join Danielle and you'll you'll answer that question for yourself. And if it's not, then you'll just cancel. You keep all the by the way, those bonuses that's worth eighteen hundred dollars. You get to keep that. We're going to email it to you today. All right. Next question, Sarah. Uh, will we get a copy of this webinar on the slides? Jose, if you are a power agent, yes, you get a recording. You get the copy of the slides, which is really good because I, I, I know if I go back to the slides, let me just show you. Because some of the stuff that I lit, I rattled off here, like how to interview, um, how to interview the businesses, and where's the other one, the dialing for dollars, and some of the dialogue, and there's so much stuff here that, yeah, it's this. These slides are probably worth the five bucks. <laughs> and yes, Jose, you, you you'll get it emailed to you uh, if you're if you're signing up now. If you're a current power agent you have access to it in the website. So, uh, which by the way, you can just, if you guys ever have questions, this is our chat, we answer in two minutes. And I'm gonna give you a little uh, behind the scenes. I'm not a fan of chat or tickets. We don't do tickets on my company. I open up a troubleshoot ticket. All you have to do is say, hey, my name's uh, John and I wanna join the program. Can somebody call me? Here's my cell. And we'll just call you right there in two minutes. So. So use the chat. The chat is awesome. Jose, if you want to know where something is, you can't find it, um, use the chat. I will tell you the best way to do it is, is use that search 
function and um and um today's crazy market and just yeah you can find anything just putting in the right search all right next question sarah I just wanted to say Thomas said he was uh, a KW agent and, agent and he's learned more here in 30 days than he has in five years. He goes, sorry for the honesty. <laughs> oh, that, see, that's, yeah. there you go. We're great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Love it. Um, okay. Next question from Lori. Do you feel that making phone calls is a bit invasive because most people communicate by text today? The FISBO person could be busy. feels somewhat like a spam call. Your thoughts? Yeah. It's not a, it's a spam call when it's a spam call, you know, which, um, where it's a robo call. This is not, this is a per you're taking time. I mean, just Lori, think about it. What about, um, a buyer? What, so if a buyer called on an ad, is that like a, a spam call? <laughs> no, a spam call is where you, 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 you just mass robo calling, you know, this is not, you're calling, Hey, I'm calling about this specific house for sale. And um, if you use my dial, Lori, let me tell you something, Lori, this is important you understand, because obviously you don't know me from that question. And, and I appreciate that. Lori, when it comes to the telephone uh, of the speakers in our, in, in our train world, none of them are as good as I am. Uh, and I, I'm, I sound very arrogant saying that, uh, and I apologize. But the reason why I can say that is two reasons. Number one, is uh, I built my business calling physicals and expireds in New York. So when I was an agent, I called the hardest because New Yorkers, they're, they're hard, they'll, they'll hang up on you. They'll curse at you and then hang up. Then you got to call them back, say, I'm sorry, we got disconnected. So I got really thick skin in calling physicals and expired. I mastered it. That's number one. Number two is uh, in our live training, when I do live trainings, like we just did one in January um, on long, uh, in uh, Connecticut, I call physicals from the stage. And I pipe it through the speakers. And I, I don't know of any speaker that calls live from a stage in front of an audience of, of thousands of people, but I do. And if I speak to four, I'll schedule three appointments. So Lori, I'm really, 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 really good at it. So your concern, I get it. Um, don't have it be a concern. I will show you though in the power program, there is, well, if I go, uh, if I go script, there is, I told you there's 44 scripts and uh, dialogues. And one of them is how to leave a voicemail for the FISBO if they don't answer. There's also texting uh, scripts. So if you disagree with me, Lori, and you still want to text, you could do that as well. What I suggest you do, Lori, is you call. If you get a voicemail because they're screening their calls, leave the voice message that I have for you, then send the text follow-up to their phone. And so now you've got them, you got every base covered. Okay. So that's how you do it. Darling. Okay. Next question, Sarah. Love it. Dana asks, if I'm a past member, how do I restart? Yeah. Just use that little bubble thing there on the site. Say, Hey, I'm a past power agent and I want to reactivate my account. Love it. Uh, Bernard asks, is there a Monday call for Memorial Day? Bernard, great question. Anytime there's a holiday where banks are closed or um, stock market, <laughs> stock market is closed. Uh, the Monday coaching call goes to Tuesday. So we don't skip the call. We just move it to the Tuesday. I uh, love it. Daniel asks, if I'm bringing the seller's guide or legal guide to a printer from other power agents, do you have a ballpark on the cost? That's a great question for the Facebook group. Yeah. Right. Um, is there a cost? Where is he? Where are you post? Where are you printing it, um, Dan? Um, I guess if you bring it to uh, Kinko's or something. You know, mm -hmm. just go, Dan, just call, no, no, just call Kinko's and ask him, you know, I got a book, it's 38 pages or 50 pages. How much would that cost to bind it? That's all. I will tell you, I think I've seen Dan Power Agent say it's about $5 a book. Um, now, the legal book, what Dan was just asking about, listen, I got to tell the Power Agents this. What I did was I wrote a, a small book. It's, it's, I shouldn't say it's a book. It's an e-guide. And on, on the legal side of selling your home, you know what gets lost in our business that we need to tell homeowners more? It is against the law 
to help somebody sell a house and get paid a commission. It's against the law. You have to be licensed. Just like it's against the law to practice financial planning, it's against the law to pretend you're a doctor, it's against the law to pretend you're an attorney. All these professions, you must be licensed to do it for other people and get paid for it. And the reason why is because it's that complicated. Did you hear what I just said? The reason why you must be licensed in real estate is because it's that complicated. It is not just blowing up balloons and chauffeuring buyers around. But this is what civilians think our profession is. They don't get that whole license legal thing. We need to be communicating this more in appointments. That's way we'll get more respect. So what I did out of this passion, I just did this a month ago. I sat down with the team. My team makes everything look pretty. Shout out to Camille. Camille is our graphics guru. She takes my brilliant stuff. The Rachel, first of all, makes me sound coherent and writes it better. Then, then and Julie checks it. Then we give it to Camille, and Camille makes it look beautiful. And then before you know it, we have this six page. It's not, it's not a book. We got six pages on the 13 reasons why legally you can be messing yourself up as a homeowner if you, if you do your own sale without a licensed agent. Anyway, uh, this is one of my favorite pieces because it elevates our profession the way it should. Next question. Love it. Are those e-guides extra? No. Everything's only 47. You know what this program, let me tell you what this program is like. How many of you have uh, uh, um, Amazon Prime movies or you have Netflix or HBO Max? Do any of you have those entertainment things? I'll bet you it's cost Disney Plus. We're like one of those. See, Netflix, let's use Netflix as an example. Netflix has thousands of movies. Do you watch all those movies? Do you watch them all the time, every day? No. You know what you do? You have your account, your Netflix account or whatever, and you go to it when you want to, when you need it, when you need a little levity in your life, right? That's the power program. The power program is $47 a month. We've got hundreds, just like Netflix has thousands of movies. We have hundreds of marketing stuff, training, coaching, live, and you come to us when you need us, $47 a month. This is the, this is, you know what you need in real estate? I'll tell you what you need in real estate. You need a cell phone. You need a car. You need a, a CRM. You need the power to be a power agent. $47 a month. Boy, that was all. I, I hope that didn't sound too forward or too hard. But I swear to you, man, every power agent, tell power agents that are still on the call, am I wrong here? Does this program help you? Do you love this program? Do you love the Power Squad team? Can you please tell these, 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 these guests over here? All right. Next it's question. It's true. We've, we've been getting some testimonials. I've just been publishing them, but um, we have a few here. Daryl is the best and the most affordable program, hands down. Uh, need $5. Check your cup holder and your car for loose change. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Monday without Daryl. Wow. Uh, it's worth it to try for $5. There are tons of resources that Daryl's offering. Then you can customize them. Plus, you get to talk to him every Monday. This program takes you back to the basics. It's organized. You do not have to sit for a year to set it up and hope it works. We're not techies or we would be doing that trade or at least add it to what you have. Awesome. Thank you, it. Sarah. Thank you. Sure. All right. Next question. Susan asks, do you suggest or recommend a website design company for a new agent? Susan, great question. Here, here's what I would recommend um, is you should look at your CRM. For, you, you need to have the CRM. And there's several companies out there. We have one. It's on the exact contact platform. They've, they've been bought. They've been going through some growing pains lately. Uh, I, quite honestly, I'm a little have a reservation about it right now. We're going to see how it turns out by the end of this month. Um, but almost every CRM company has part of what they have is a, um, sorry, is a um, is a website that ties in with it, so you're you're not paying extra. So make sure you you search the the for the CRM first, and it'll work with your website. That's my recommendation. 
Love it. Tina said, this is great. I just gave up my paid leads and I'll be using these instead. Oh, Tina, listen, everybody, when it comes to these paid leads, do me a favor. Please stop doing that unless you have the money to risk. I said it earlier, but listen, one of the mistakes that I've seen this, I've seen, I've been around this business. I told you for 39 years, it's a long time. Honestly, I dye my hair. All right. Being honest with you, I've been around for a long time and, um, I've seen paying for leads put agents out of real estate. And so please don't do that because what happened, the reason why agents do that is number one is it's like Ozempic, right? People, this, the diet uh, needle, it's because it's a quick, it's easy and it's quick and it's just give me a friggin' shot so I can lose weight. It's very attractive. So the Ozempic of real estate is here's my money. Give me leads. And the problem with that is you give the money and where's the leads? And then on top of that, you've got to know how to do the lead and how to work it and nurture it. Don't do that unless you have extra money. Here, you don't need any of that. For less than $100, you can generate listing appointments. You can generate sales. This is, yeah, I'm so glad. I feel like I saved a career just now with what she said. Right. Whatever money you're wasting, put bring come to be a power agent. You'll see. All right. Next question. Well, that leads us into our next question. Is Op City worth it for leads? <laughs> Donna, Donna, Op City. I've had some agents say they get some good leads. I've had some agents say it was a waste of money. I say it to you again, Donna. Op City and all the other companies like that, it's a hit or miss. It could be great in one town and it could be horrible in another. The only way you're going to find out is you got to try it. You got to spend the money and it's a risk. This is why I'm saying don't do it if you don't have the money. Okay. To risk. Next question. Sharon, can you teach how to do short sell? Short sale cases. Okay, Sharon. So, um, no, I can't teach that. I don't teach that. Um, you know, we have a product. I do have a short sale product. We should probably upload that audio program maybe, or just give it to the power agents, Sarah. Mm -hmm. um, we did record a short sale product years ago. I interviewed a short sale expert. Um, I'm, I'm talking like 15 years ago. Things have changed so much. So it's probably not worth it uh, to purchase it. So that's why I just said to Sarah, let's just give it, donate it. Um, but I will say, uh, Sh Sh Sharon or Sharon, whoever asked that is, um, what we can is on the coaching call on Monday, I can put it out to the power agents because the power agents on Monday, we have almost 300 every Monday. So uh, we get great responses. So I can ask people who are familiar with short sales and we can create a little group and you guys can, uh, connect. All right. Next question. Thomas says, I used Sly Broadcast on Neighborhood. What is the next step? Should I make follow-up calls? Um, Thomas, I, I think I think I would do it sparingly. So I, I wouldn't have the Sly Broadcast be an end-all, do-all, like just you're going to keep Sly, Sly Broadcasting them, you know, because um, that could be annoying. So it, it depend, um, I'm not sure how you used it and what, what did you say. So that would determine my answer to you and maybe using it one more time as a follow-up. Um, but Tom, same thing, all of this stuff, when it comes to, there's, there's, there's two types of business of real estate. There's now business and there's future business. Now future business is farming, uh, blasting out stuff, email, all that. Now business are people who want to sell today and you know it, FISBOs expired. Those are now business, old FISBOs, old expired, uh, that weren't successful. That's good. So there's more, um, so this live broadcast is you're reaching out to people and then maybe you do it again, but then you do uh, maybe a door knock and then you do a, a mailing uh, to people. So it's part of a bigger campaign that you want to include uh, to keep having people see your name, face, and what you do for a living. People need to see your name, face, what you do for a living five to seven times before they'll actually act. So uh, it's good that you did that and just keep nurturing it. Next question. Love it. Where do you find those slide broadcast, slide broadcast credits, by the way? Um, so let's see here. Look at you, Sarah. I know what you're doing. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> so if we go to, 
I'm just laughing, gang. You don't. So Sarah, this is her first time doing this. How is Sarah doing, by the way? If you want to, Julie, Julie couldn't be here today. So that's why I keep wanting to call her Julie. But um, if you go to vendors. Yeah. So this Sarah, is Sarah. Screen. We don't see your screen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> good, 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 good job, Sarah. I put so, my Julie hat on. <laughs> you put your Julie hat on. Well, I, anyway, so when you're in the classroom and you go to vendors, um, all of our vendors that we negotiated deals, these are all the, every one of these companies, they have two things in common. Number one is uh, they have a special for power agents. And number two is nobody else in the industry has that special. In other words, this is the best special that you will find anywhere because that's part of our criteria. And um, uh, Red X Deal Check. Deal Check is uh, if you're dealing with investors, this is the software you will learn about investing in real estate because I also invest in real estate. And this is my personal uh, app that I use to determine if something's a good deal or not. Uh, Just Listed is a way to promote your listings or yourself on Facebook, Cold Directory, Box Brownie, Awesome Am Cards, you know about it, Curbio. Th these are. Um, a slide broadcast, there you go. And then there's other vendors or companies that we've researched and we put it in there for you. So, okay, next question. Love it. Uh, thank you, Tina, Dan, and Thomas. You guys are great as well. <laughs> um, Susie says, I'm always amazed how hard Daryl works for us and educates us in a caring and professional way. Aw. Thank you, Susie. Appreciate that. <laughs> Manuel, how do you use Facebook and Instagram to generate leads? Okay, Manuel. So um, there's there's the paid advertising on both of those platforms, which Sarah actually is the in charge of our social media paid advertising, um, and works with um, Facebook directly and works with other vendors too. And in in one word, Sarah, uh, is Facebook advertising easy or hard? Um, it's hard. That's why I would recommend we have just listed dot social. They can run Facebook ads for you and Facebook ads will also transfer over to Instagram. They're all under that meta meta umbrella. So I would say definitely get somebody to do it for you. Unless you're techie. If you, if you're techie and you like it and you want to sit down and learn it, that's a different story. Yeah. And you should not sit down and learn it. Even <laughs> if you are techie and you enjoy it, you need to be on listing appointments. So just listed social is so simple. Um, they have an automation. The first time you use them, they have to connect to your Facebook and Instagram account. And so there's a little like, but you know, little like, okay, how do you do this? How do you do it? But once you set it up, bada bing, it is so easy. It'll, you put in the MLS number of a listing that you have, for example, it'll pull that data, create the ad for all you do is pay. So just listed social is the easiest, most effective way to get advertising. If you don't have a listing and you just want to promote your name, they have that option as well. Okay. So that's our recommendation there. The other way to do it, if you didn't want to spend money is you can do video blogging. And if you do video blogging, um, let me see live if I can find it. Um, yeah, here you go. So we have a list of topics that you can talk on to do video uh, blogging on Facebook and Instagram. Like here's the three best curb appeal ideas. And then you just share what those three are. So we have the content written for you as well if you want to do video blogging. Next question, Sarah. Love it. Pam says, so true, especially new agents that have little cash when they become a realtor. They buy leads and leave broke. Oh, yeah, Pam, right? Ugh. Um, yeah, listen, gang, please. You know, here's here's the bottom line is if, if I've never seen you before um, and like if, if power agents will tell you this is the safest place you can be. If you give me 30 days, I'll give you momentum. Now, if you give me a year, I'll give you a career. Um, and and once again, if you don't trust me, man, just search Daryl Davis seminars. Um and see the Google reviews and comments. I mean, so you, you I, I, I'm going to be really strong right now. And then we'll go to the next question. If, 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 if you would have $5 hold you back, um, I don't think I can help you then, honestly, um, because you've got some other 
trust issue or something that's way bigger than I can help you with. This is such a safe risk because the worst that'll happen is you lost five bucks. If I was not honest about everything I'm promising you. So I think it's a good risk. All right, let's go back to the question. I see Pam. She's asking, what is your opinion of KV core? Pam, I don't personally know KV, but I have never heard one negative thing about KV. Uh, I heard only positive. So that's my take on it, Pam. And once again, all of these, these things are, um, you know, I'm trying to think of an example. We were talking about this once before. Uh, we personally, oh, I know what it was. We hired somebody and then we fired the person. We, we, I like to think that we have a really good system in hiring people in interview and we don't hire them on the spot. There's questionnaires and um, tests. And I mean, we go through a real process and, um, and um, you know, after we hire them and they start working, it's like, yeah, this is not working for us. So I, I think that's true about just about any new product, even the power program, right? Like the good thing about if, if you spend an hour here, you kind of know, like, does this work for me? Like, do I like Daryl? Do I trust Daryl? Like, you should know that answer. That's why you should not be struggling about my knowledge. Either you kind of trust me and like me or you don't. Done. With some of these other products like KV Tour or Op City and all those things, uh, you can do as much research as possible, but you're really not going to know until you start using it and doing it, just like a diet. And uh, that's why you should not spend the money you don't have. Uh, you should, if you have the money to risk it to figure it out and learn it, then you make the investment. Okay. All right. Next question. Love it. Susan says, Daryl, if you want to talk, I have a great deal of experience with short sales. Oh, okay, Susan. So, now, Susan is a power agent. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I recognize her. So, um, Susan, um, so J uh, Sarah, just make a note. You know what, what we'll do is, I don't think short sales is a real big market right now, but, you know, maybe we will do a Talent Tuesday with Susan. Let's, let's vet her and make sure. I mean, I know Susan's a very active power agent. I know that. Um, but let's uh, have Julie contact Susan and ask her about... Um, you know, how many deals she's done and stuff like that. And it, maybe we'll do a talent Tuesday on that. Okay. Sure. You got All it. Right. Thank you, Susan. Very, very much. Thank you. Uh, Next Jenny. Question. Thank you, Daryl. You're very good, helpful, humble, and know our real estate feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> do Jandra, do you think all realtors should have at least one investment property? Oh Lord. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So let me, I don't want to get into teaching. I, I mean, I'm still an infant at this. Um, and um, I, I, if I, I don't have many regrets in my life. Um, one of them is not buying real estate. Um, now I have a, I have a good reason, uh, meaning that um, I've been living on my own since I was 16. So I didn't have any help growing up into adulthood. And so I didn't have, I didn't have advice and I was just figuring out my life. And I wanted to be an actor. Uh, that was my passion. And I got into real estate. And I, had, I you know, Ann Dichter, she was my first broker. I was 19 years old. I, I probably should have listened to Ann, actually, because Ann, Ann was telling me to buy a condo in Wyndham, New York, by a ski area. It was when I was 19 years old. And uh, I didn't, and I should have. She told me it would be a good investment. Um, so anyway. I had another guy, a, a multi multi-millionaire back then, like when I was 21, he told me Daryl buy in Hawaii and he was flying back and forth buying property. Anyway, my point is I wish I bought property sooner. My son's nine, uh, 26 years old. He's closing on his first property uh, this coming month. Um, and I'm so proud of him. So going back to that question, Chandra, yes, I don't care how old we are. Um, you, you should buy at least one property a year, maybe more. Now, I will tell you this, and then we'll move on, because I don't want to make this an investment um, webinar now, because I could. But there are, there are ways to buy property with 20% uh, down, no income check. Um, it's hard money. Um, and Or buying traditionally with 10% down as an investment property. Um, if it's, if you can get into the property. So there's 
I have people at our disposal. Um, to, uh, there's no nothing in a force. I have my guy who does my financing. I have my deal check. I've got my attorney. So we have people to tap into if you need to, if you're ready. You, but you're going to need at least 10% down for sure. Okay. Plus closing. All right. Next question. Love it. And we have that interview with Catherine Ryan too, all on investment property, right? Oh my gosh. That's right, Sarah. Let me tell you this, uh, uh, this woman here, <laughs> Catherine, Catherine, you guys can see my screen, right? Okay. Yeah. Catherine. Okay. So Catherine, Catherine is the number one power agent in the whole state of Florida. That's number one. Number two is Catherine. She just was on a yacht and was with her, her family. She's a multimillionaire, this, this agent. She's been in real estate. How long has she been in real estate? Let me see. Is it there? She came, she came as an immigrant from Germany with $750 in her pocket. She's the number one Keller Williams agent in Florida, number one power agent. Um, she is incredible. She has multiple, multiple properties. Um, and, um, she, she's, uh, I look up to Catherine, honestly. And, um, so she shared how she built her, her wealth in real estate and, and she spoke at our event too. Anyway, Catherine rain, watch that, that, uh, session. It will motivate you. Next question. Totally. Susie says, do you recommend farming in your own neighborhood? Susie, I, I, I don't think it has to be your own neighborhood. So I, 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 I think we have, um, so there's a couple of things we have. Let me show you something. Give me a second. We have, um, calc you, I don't know how to spell calculator. Is that horrible? Calculator. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me see. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So calculator farm area spreadsheet. So we have a spreadsheet and a video that explains the spreadsheet. Like you punch in the numbers of an area based on the turnover, the average sales price, number of sales, yada, yada. And the whole software will tell you, okay, um, if you're comparing this area, this area, and this area, or however many areas you're comparing, which would be the best farm area based on turnover and yada, yada. So that's what should influence you, right? So just because you live in the area, um, now if, if your area is, is not the best area, but it's a good area, it's a good turnover and you live in the area and you love the area. Well, that's a good reason too. then. So th the answer to my question is you do not have to say only because I live here. Well, I pick this area, pick this area because yeah, you live there, but you enjoy it. You know, it there's good turnover. There's good money to be had there. All of that together. I lived uh, my, when I first started real estate, 19 years old. Um, I was, uh, I lived in Bay park, uh, which is a specific area in East Rockaway, um, uh, in the five towns area of long Island and, um, Bay park, East Rockaway, actually that whole town, my, my graduating class, we had 97 people in it, small town. That's a town where people are born there. They live there, they die there, and then they give it to their kids meaning there's like no turnover in East Rockway at the time when I lived there. So my broker, Mac, wanted me to make that my farm. I'm like, Mac, there's no business here. I'm not going to do that. So I went to the other towns that had turnover. So, okay, next question. Love it. Uh, Dan says, you can't beat the Power Agent membership. Daryl and his fantastic team over deliver on what's in this program. Drop the five bucks and start. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. All right, so listen. Um, here's the dealio. You guys need to, I, I just want to show you this. And then, um, I I'm going to show you, listen, I promised you, I was going to give you an extra gift right now. And I'm going to show you a video. Um, um, oh, the directory, Sarah, don't, don't forget gang. When you join the power program, you're going to become power agent. We own the registered trademark and only power agents can call themselves power agents. And we tell power agents to tell people like when they say, well, what is a power agent? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Dan, what is a power agent? Power agent is like a CPA of real estate. It does, if you had a choice of hiring uh, an accountant or a CPA and it didn't cost you any more, which would you hire? Well, of course a CPA, cause it's better, 
uh, train, better quality for the same money. And that's what a power agent of real estate is, Mr. and Ms. So there, and there is a lot of branding in the classroom, logos, pins, the whole nine yards to, to a certificate. You'll get a certificate to use on listing appointments, explaining what power agent is. There's so much to this program. When you guys join, you're going to be so happy that you joined. I'm going to share with you a video of one of our power agents who just, I talked about her earlier, but I want you to see the actual video and, and, and get excited about what's possible in your career. When you sign up as a power agent, this is what's possible. So let's take a look at this video. So I am so, 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 so excited. I live right next to this house. I don't know if you can really see it, but this house is so run down. It just had renters in it uh, from the time I moved in to pretty recent. They just moved out. And I sent a letter to this seller, to that house. And she actually lives uh, in another part of the state. But so I sent a letter, one letter. Um, one, the first time I sent it was to the wrong address because she had recently moved and I didn't know it. So I found it searching through um, some court records and I found her new address, sent her the same letter again with my business card. Her daughter is the executor of her estate, which I didn't know until just now because she just called me. Okay, but that's not even the best part. The best part is I, uh, from the one letter that I sent twice, one to the wrong address and one to just the new address a uh, couple of days ago she just called me and I already knew that this seller had a lot of properties around our uh, this immediate area she owns like 20 different properties and her daughter just called me said hey I'm the executor of my mom's estate she's still living and I have been she has been thinking about offloading a lot of the properties. So that one letter <laughs> that I sent diligently twice, of course that's all it took. Oh, and the oh, very cool thing. She said that she read my letter and oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so she read my letter and ended up throwing it away because we have a very well-known um, real estate company right down the street from us actually who she had already contacted, but she wasn't impressed with them because of a lot of different things. So she also, she had her property manager call a couple of agents where he lives, which is several towns away, and who also works out of different MLSs than is required for right here. And they were thinking about going with that guy but instead, she called me. I don't know how in the world she got my information again, but she said she searched for me on Google or wherever, social media, and she found me. She's like, that's the girl. And so she called me just now. And oh, OMG, she is going to give me every single listing that her mom owns. So that one letter for that one rundown house that renters just moved out of a couple of months ago, just turned into 20 plus listings. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love Jennifer for sharing that. And of course, people ask, they say, well, and this is just, this just happened. And of course, the power agents are like, well, what letter do you send? She said to, I'll, I'll read, she said, I just modified what I found in the power agent classroom. In fact, the classroom of materials has been so helpful in getting my new business up and running. She's a new agent and she's getting 20 some, and I told you the listings are already, the homeowner, it's not a promise. They're, they're at, some of them are actually on MLS now. So I share that with you for two reasons. Number one, for the guests to validate the power program and why you should not worry about five bucks. But the other reason, more importantly, is for everybody, power agents and the guests, is to show you what's possible in your career. You know, I know how hard you work. I do, because I've been an agent. 
And sometimes you feel like you're shoveling sand, trying to dig a hole on the beach and everything you do, it's not working and it's draining and you feel alone sometimes. And, and I'm telling you, if you do the right things and you keep the hope and you stay committed and you keep on keeping on, you will have what happened to Jennifer happen for you. There's business out there. There absolutely is. It's harder. It's harder than it's ever been, but it's there. So don't give up on yourself. My team, my, we will not give up on you. So bring your A game to the classroom, to us. Let's do this. Let's make this year your breakthrough year. Because I'll tell you one other thing. And I'm just going to talk to the people who are having a struggle right now. It is the struggle that's going to make you better and stronger. When you take a pencil out of a pencil box, it's flat. It's not usable. But when you put it in that pencil sharpener, it's the friction. It's the friction that makes the pencil sharp. Whatever friction you're all going through now is preparing you for something wonderful. Okay. There's wonderfulness on the other side of that struggle. And we want to help you have it, have that struggle be shorter. Okay. Anyway, God bless you, gang. Thank you so much for for be it, spend your time with us. I hope this was helpful. And uh, this is what we do. We care about you. Okay. All right. Stay safe, stay focused. And of course, don't forget to keep smiling. Bye everybody.